Hey guys, last few days I've really enjoyed giving you some in-depth uh, information on various targeting uh, sequences in the human body, where to go, where to get the best effort, talking about the ideas behind it, you know, the whole idea of aim small, miss small. And you guys have been giving me some great feedback on this. And one of the things which you guys did not fail me because this is just typical, one of the big questions I got is, hey Tim, I, I get it. There's lots of different areas on the human body, but just give me three, just give me the three. And guess what? In self-defense world, reality self-defense, what are the three? You know them. I don't even have to say it. Eyes, throat, groin, right? Three targets. Why does it always come back to that? Well, I think there's a couple of things. One, we realize these areas of the human body, you know, we understand what blinding uh, to, uh, can happen to a man. We understand what cutting air off to uh, a man can be. And I'm saying a man basically because the majority of predators are men. So it's not a gender thing, it's just the idea that, you know, most likely, male or female, your predator that you're gonna be dealing with, criminal predator you'll be dealing with, most likely will be a male. And then of course, going to the groin, you have, you know, the testicles, and you also have the ability to go after the person's ability to bear down, you know, basically takes away all the abdominal strength, the ability of the core of going in there. And then the crushing of the testicles obviously is something that's there. But why we pick those, the main reason people like those areas is because all three areas, the eye, the throat, and the groin, all can be crushed with just your hand, meaning you don't need to employ body weight. It's one of the few areas of the human body that we can actually injure without having to deploy body weight into it. What do I mean by deploy body weight? I mean actually all of you into the strike to do that. You know, if I'm gonna go after a joint or if I'm gonna go after, you know, a bone in the human body, I need my body weight behind those strikes to make sure that I get the injury that I want. Now, <clears throat> the other reason people like three targets, when they say three targets, is because the conscious mind can memorize three targets. But you know, the way we train, I've asked you to go back and look at some of your products and look at the idea of the target sequencing and what that does for us. One of the main things you have to understand is the best target for you to strike in any violent situation is the one you can get to. And let me share a story with you about somebody who I trained and what happened to them. And it might illustrate why I don't give three targets to people and say, there you go. This is a guy, he was a, a really well-off guy, had a really nice Lexus um, coming out one day. It was uh, raining, he had a couple of uh, bags of groceries, wasn't really paying attention. His situational awareness was gone, basically. He admits it, he was just feeling bad, he was mad that it was raining, wasn't really paying attention. As he's putting groceries into his car, he has his door open and he's putting them down on the seat. Next thing he realizes is, he's got a gun barrel right at his head. Now what's interesting is on the other side of that gun barrel is the car door. Guess what that car door is blocking access to for my client? That's right, the eyes, the throat, the groin. But what was interesting was my client, the first thing he noticed was he looked down and when he looked down, what did he see? He saw the top of this guy's foot on the other side of the door, meaning just imagine an open door and you can see a person's foot. You know, So here's the door, here was the foot, all of a sudden he saw it, and that's where he started. He understood the top of the foot was a very viable target. He also understood instantly, because of his training, and he trains all the different arcs and angles that I tell you guys to do, You know, the sight pictures, he understood that, hey, the gun that is on my head, it also is blocked by this door from following me if I go straight down. So what did he do? He dropped down and gave a knee. He dropped his knee on top of the foot. He disappeared from under the gun, so all of a sudden the gun couldn't follow him, so that protected him. And he got a really vicious injury on this guy right away. Absolutely broke the foot. The foot, when you look at it, you know, imagine this is the foot. There's a long tendon that goes across here. And when you stomp on the top of the foot, it flattens out the foot, snaps that tendon, and makes it really difficult for you to, to uh, walk. And all the little bones on top of, of the foot, you know, another great area. But it's one of those targets 
that almost gets them aligned. It's almost like the old stomp to the foot. We're not talking about stomping the foot. We were talking about him dropping all of his body weight on a very small area of his knee and crushing that target to where he had a huge effect to the point to where the guy not only reacted to it, but he dropped his gun. He dropped his gun as he was trying to reach to his foot. Our client was able to go under. He pulled the, uh, the back of the guy's ankle, pulled it up under the car door, lifted up right up under the knee and snapped this guy's knee. He knocked him out. The pain was too much. This guy absolutely passed out from the pain. They were able to affect the arrest and he was able to save this guy, basically. He didn't have to kill him because he understood injury to the human body. But had my client only been trained in the top three, the lowly top of the foot never would have been available to him. And that's why I would tell you, there's so many different ways that you can look at the human body and putting trauma on it. There's so many great options that you never wanna limit yourself. The way that we train you in the assembly process that you've seen, it is built in that it is gonna bypass your conscious mind. It's gonna get right back in there and make sure that it gets into a memory, the long-term memory that you can access, much bigger part of your brain that you can access rather than just the front section of your brain, which you can only memorize a couple of bits. I'm trying to keep this very basic. There's very good medical terms for all that, but I find that I can lose people when I start doing that. So what I wanted to convey today was, I love your questions. I understand why you'd only want three targets. I understand why you'd want to pick three targets that are really easy to understand. But I'm telling you, it could be a huge, huge problem for you if that's all you have in your quiver. And that's why we at Target Focus Training look at the whole human body and we want to make sure that you have every option so that no matter what's presented to you, you can take that target, exploit it, injure it, and get your reaction. Take that guy to non-functional. So again, thanks so much for all your questions. I hope you've been enjoying this. We'll close out things tomorrow.